I would like to make a few notes here about uh, standard electrode potential. The first one, the standard electrode potential for a given electrode or essentially a particular half cell reaction or redox pair. It would be the mirrored equilibrium potential under standard condition versus SAG or standard hydrogen electrode. Therefore, the standard electrode potential for a particular electrode does not does not depend on whether that particular electrode or the half cell reaction is actually cathodic, which means going through reduction, or anodic, which means going through oxidation. Okay? So it's a long note. Let's use example to illustrate what we mean. Again, we are looking at the same two examples. On the left, we have iron and zinc metal inserted in solutions. Okay, and as we mentioned before, the standard electrode potential for iron is point minus 0 0.440, while the standard electrode potential for the zinc 2 plus zinc is minus 0.763 volt. Okay. In comparison, for the electrochemical cell on the right side, we have iron and the copper inverted in solution. And in this case, the standard electrode potential, as we mentioned, is still minus 0 0.440 volt, while the standard copper electrode potential is plus 0 0.340 volt. So for one cell, the iron electrode appears more positive. For the other cell, the iron electrode appears to be more negative. Okay, But then, no matter what, the standard electrode potential G0 for the iron 2 plus iron electrode, or we call redox pair, it's always minus 0 0.440 volt because it is compared versus SHE. Okay, and this standard electrode potential remains, read to yourself, remains unchanged no matter whether it is in the electrochemical cell on the left or it is in the electrochemical cell on the right. No matter whether the redox pair, in this case, iron 2 plus iron electrode actually goes through cathodic reaction, which is on the left, cathodic reaction because it is more positive. It, the actual half cell reaction is iron 2 plus combined with electron to become iron metal. Or it does not change on if it's actually going through anodic or oxidation half cell reaction as the case on the right the iron because it's more negative for the electrochemical cell on the right it gives out electron to become iron 2 plus but in both these two cases the standard electrode potential is the same point minus point four four zero volt because this number is mirrored against the same constant reference which is the SHE. So it doesn't matter whether it is the cell on the left or the cell on the right. The standard electrode potential for this electrode iron two plus iron of this redox pair is the same minus point four four zero volt. Okay, similar case for other redox pair or for other electrode. A second note about uh, standard electrode potential is that the polarity, which means whether it's positive or negative, of the standard electrode potential 
for a particular electrode is a measure of how easily it's a measure of how easily the oxidized species can be reduced or the reduced species for that electrode or redox pair can be oxidized versus the SHG or in comparison to the SHG. So the polarity, whether it's positive or negative, is a comparison of how easily the oxidized species can be reduced or the reduced species can be oxidized versus the SHG. So still using examples. The first example is zinc, zinc 2 plus pair, redox pair versus hydrogen proton redox pair, which is our SHE. So the standard electrode potential of course for the proton hydrogen is of course zero, while the standard electrode potential for the zinc 2 plus zinc is minus 0.7363 volt. Okay, we have such an electrochemical cell. And because the zinc, zinc 2 plus electrode, our redox pair is more negative, more negative than the SHE, it means zinc is more easily oxidized. Zinc is easier to give out electron than the hydrogen gas. It's equivalent to say the proton is more easily reduced than zinc 2 plus ion. So it's equivalent to say in two ways. One way to say is if it's more negative for this power means the zinc is more e easily oxidized than hydrogen gas, or it is equivalent to say the high proton, the oh, hydrogen plus ion is more easily reduced than zinc ion, okay? What does that mean is if we have such a zinc, zinc ion, hydrogen, proton, electrochemical cell, the electron will naturally flow out from the more negative side, which is the zinc side, into the hydrogen proton side of that redox pair, while the overall reaction would be zinc gives our electron to become zinc 2 plus ion, while the proton can obtain electron to become hydrogen gas. Okay, that's the spontaneous or natural overall reaction for this electrochemical cell. In comparison, if we construct another electrochemical cell with copper, copper 2 plus versus the same SHE, standard hydrogen electrode, and in this case, as we mentioned before, the standard electrode potential for copper 2 plus copper would be positive 0.340 and the SHE standard electrode potential is of course still zero. And in this case, you see that the standard electrode potential for the copper, copper two plus is more positive. It's more positive than SHE. What this means is copper two plus is more easily reduced than proton, or it is another way to say that the SHE is more negative than the copper, copper 2 plus, and the hydrogen is more easily oxidized than copper. Okay? As a result, if we construct such a cell, electron would flow out from the one that is more easily oxidized, which is from hydrogen electrode, platinum, remember it's an inert electrode that provides electron and the, the interface area. The actual active species are hydrogen and proton, gives out electron from hydrogen gas and uh, oxidized to become proton, while the released electron travels through external circuit to the copper electrode, reduce the copper ion to deposit copper metal. So the OR reaction would be copper ion got reduced to become copper metal, while the hydrogen gas got oxidized to become proton. So this is another note that we say about standard electrode potential.
about polarity. It, if it's positive, it means it is easier to get oxidized than hydrogen gas. Uh, 